This is how we are adding links to a PDF document. It turns out that uh, PDF viewers uh, render hyperlinks uh, dependent on the program. So uh, hyperlinks or what should be a, a, like a web address or an email address um, will be recognized differently in Acrobat Pro uh, versus uh, Max Previewer versus you know how it reads on a web browser or, an, or on, a, on a phone. So if you want to force hyperlinks you can do so uh, with in Acrobat. Uh, you, in, you can either go into edit mode or you can just do it straight from kind of preview mode. Uh, you want to highlight the text, right click, create link, and these are, you know, you can make a visible box around it or invisible, uh, no highlight, and open a web page. Um, these settings will stay default, you know, so all you have to do is set this up once and then from here on out it'll stay the same. Open a web page is what you want to do. In this case, because it's a telephone number, you start TEL colon, and then you just regurgitate the phone number you're doing, 858-800-4995. Hit OK, and now it's in there. It highlights blue just so you can see it. Um, this one you don't really. This one you don't need. Um, I wouldn't recommend forcing it here because most viewers will recognize that as a mail address. This one here, though, I would do this one if you want, only because because there's not a www in front of it. Um, Acrobat Pro doesn't recognize it as a as a neat, as a web address. If you open the same document in um, preview mode um, on the Mac pre Finder Previewer, it does recognize email, email address and the website address. If you see that, see it throws the HTTP in front of it. Um, it also recognizes the all caps version of uh, the footer uh, address here. So again, it just depends on what your viewer is going to do. So in this case, kind of same thing, highlight, create link, um, all that stays the same, hit next. HTTP, so, uh, Vario Productions .com. Save that. You're all good, and then um, you have to save the document. Boom. So that saves it, and now now you're good to go. Um, so that's kind of how you force hyperlinking into your PDF documents. If you don't force it, then it's all reliant on the viewer that you're viewing the PDF document in. So. Enjoy.